since grade school, we've all been taught the basic history of America. But there's an untold story, a secret history to the founding of America, one that's buried in secrets and lies. Now my journey to the truth actually started out from an argument. According to the Book of Mormon, they believe that the Native Americans are actually descendants of a lost tribe out of Israel. Now that may sound like a wild claim, but it intrigued me. And it set me on a two year long investigation into Native American history, Jewish lore, and the early founding of America. What I discovered is both frightening as it is real, and I knew the story had to be told. In the new millennium, the next big leap in scientific research and industry can be summarized in one word, and that's nanotechnology. But this technology is not just a modern discovery. There are actually fingerprints of ancient nanotechnology found in some artifacts that have been discovered, such as this rare type of sword called Damascus steel. This steel is actually strangely strong and strangely resilient, and scientists have investigated and found out that it actually has carbon nanotubules and nanowires built into it. Where do these come from? Even today, modern scientists can't replicate these materials, which of course made me wonder, what did these medieval scientists know back then that we don't know today? Every school kid knows Thomas Jefferson. He's the architect of the Declaration of Independence. But of all the founding fathers, he's the one that's to this day is somewhat wrapped in mystery and contradictions. Jefferson was actually fascinated to the point of fixation with Native Americans. Over the course of his lifetime, he accumulated a huge collection of Native American artifacts. But upon his death, that entire collection mysteriously vanished. But no one's ever talked about it until now. We all know the other founding fathers of America, George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Paine, Alexander Hamilton. But there was one other, a lost founding father. Now the truth of this man can be found on any dollar bill. If you look at the great seal, and everybody knows it, bald eagle, wings outstretched, holding the olive branch in one hand, the bundle of arrows in the other. Hidden within that seal is a secret memorial to the unnamed founding father. Who was he? He was a charismatic Iroquois chief named Kana Satego. It is a permanent and somewhat secret memorial to that founding father, to Chief Kana Satego. But again, how many people know that? Why is this being kept secret? That's the story I want to tell. As this lost founding father was buried in history, other lies and mysteries abound about the founding of this country. Everyone knows America started as a union of 13 colonies, but why 13? The frightening truth lies within the ruins of an impossibility, a lost 14th colony, one cursed into oblivion, a place that to this day is known only as the Devil Colony.